Well, are we making progress? I mean, we've gone from head scratching to figure out what the problem is to uh, contemplating on how to possibly fix it to cautious optimism. And now here we are with a repaired coil. I've twisted the ends together and put a little bit of solder on that. I've unwrapped one turn so that I could get enough uh, wire out the top to be able to work with for the pins later. Now I just need to figure out what to do here for um, protecting the soldered end from shorting out the coil because uh, the coil wire is coated and uh, we don't want to get a short anywhere in there. So I'm not sure if it's going to be tape or uh, some kind of goop that I'm going to put on there that, that insulates it, um, probably both. And um, then we'll fold it in, tape it over nice and tight, and then put it back together in there. And then test continuity and test uh, resistance. The other coils are testing as 0.1 ohms. Um, actually, I'll test this before I put it in, before I put it all together, of course. Okay, well, here's where I'm at. Um, solenoid number one of two. Here's what we've done. We've uh, tapped the pins in, glued them in place. We've soldered the, uh, the leads to the pins. Now the main issue here is to make sure to uh, remove the coating off of the copper wire so that it will uh, actually solder to the pins. Yeah, not one of my best clean jobs, but anyway, that's, <laughs> again, it's not my forte. So um, to protect the coil from shorting out from my, uh, my repair or my splice here, I've wrapped the coil with uh, paper and tape under the, the main wire. I'm also going to, oh come on, roll over so I can find here. Put it like that. There. I'm also going to put another wrap of paper like that. And then a couple of wraps of tape around the whole thing. It hopefully keeps everything in place and uh, prevent shorting out. Um, from vibration or if I damage the insulation or whatever. And I guess the, um, the main thing is going to be is when this energizes in the, in the truck, have I got enough twists and enough little bit of solder there so that it, uh, it doesn't just burn out like a fruit fuse right away? I don't know if it uh, if it lasts more than a couple of days. I would say we're going to be good for a long time. If it shorts out the first time I turn the key, well, at least we had fun trying, right? Um, nothing to lose, everything to gain. So this is where I'm at right now, and uh, I'm going to wrap it wrap it up with some paper and some more tape, and we'll go from there. I believe we're coming down a home stretch here on uh, repairing coil number one. So uh, our next check here is, okay, we're gonna check continuity and we're gonna check resistance. So I have this coil here was the one good coil of the uh, of the three on, on the one side of the block. Uh, so it, and it has the same uh, part number as the coils I'm trying to repair. So I'm going to check the resistance on that one. 
point seven, point six, point five, point four, point five. Point five ohms. Okay, the repaired one. What do we got here? Point eight. Oops, jumping around a little bit here. Point eight. Point six. Point seven. Point five. Point five, point five, point six. So it's, yeah, it's pretty much there. It's, it's got, it must have a ever so slight um, more resistance than the original, which obviously it would because of my, the splice that's in there. So I think we're, um, yeah. I, I think we're good to go in terms of uh, finishing this one off. Okay, so it's spliced, it's wrapped, it's ready for the end cap. I just got to figure out how I'm going to keep that end cap on there. I think I'm just going to use some heavy duty um, aluminum tape for now. At least so I can test it and if that holds true or proves proves through then I'll uh, I'll come back and I'll do something more substantial here um, so that's where I'm at is this one's finished and time to repair the next one <laughs>